The metro area has never had a reliable and comprehensive regional transit system, but now the state is trying to change that. The Regional Transit Authority is trying to create a master plan, and it will cost taxpayers. I spoke with Michael Ford, the CEO of the RTA here in Southeast Michigan. For the next three months, we're going to be out engaging the, po the folks to make sure that we have what their concerns are so we can move forward and get this plan done by the end of the year. Okay, so what do people want to see? What is the feedback that you're starting to hear? Well, basic needs. Uh, people just want to be able to get to a job and get back home, uh, get to a theater and see a show. Um, millennials want to be able to stay where they're at and have good public transportation. They want a coordinated system that works together, that integrates the different services, and they want it you know, efficient, uh, effective, safe, uh, reliable. Um, but there are a lot of different needs out there and we're, we're trying to address that. So people would say, gosh, if we have not been able to do this for so long, if it's taken us so long to get to this point, what, what makes you think it's going to happen now? What's, what's changed here? Well, as the RTA, we are tasked with actually creating a plan, coordinating the services between the different carriers and making that happen. And also we're going to have to invest in our future. Uh, we don't invest here. We average about $74 per capita here. If you look at other averages, it's about $184 per capita in other places. Uh, so we've got to invest. What's going to make it happen is that we have the authority, we have the ability to make it happen, and we have to make a plan that makes work, that's really sensible and makes sense for people. Okay, and the authority was created only in, in 2012. That's and so right. it's finally taken the time to gel and, and, and kind of get up to speed, so to speak, if we're mm -hmm. talking about transit. Right. Speaking of speed, talk to me about the coordination of what we're going to see in terms of smart and in terms of a rapid bus system and, and where some of those lines might go. Well, right now we're working on a couple different things. I talked about the regional master plan, but we have Gratiot, Woodward, and Michigan. Those are lines and corridors that are being studied right now, essentially those will be potentially bus rapid transit or some configuration of that, but we also need to fill in the gaps. And we know that there's a lot of areas that just don't have good transportation. So we're asking people's input for that right now, and that's really going to kind of round out the plan. But I also would say it's not just about the transportation aspect, it's about wayfinding, it's shelters, it's real-time information, it's kind of all the accoutrements that make a system work well. People will say, okay, so now we figured out what we want, now we have to figure out what it costs. Right. And so what is the price tag here? What will people have to start to pay? And in your role, will you have to start to ask the voters, is it in 2016 for some funding here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are looking at 2016, but we have to be clear about the plan. We have to be clear what it's in it for them. Uh, even if you don't use the system, why it's still a benefit to you. So we are in development of that plan right now. Once we have a little bit more meat on the bones, we'll be back out in September, and we want to make sure we've gotten it right. But we're going to have to invest. There's no doubt about it. Um, people are going to have to decide if that's what they want. We talk about other systems. We talk about going other places. We can't get it right here. We can with a good plan and people's involvement and an investment. 